channel. This video will be for anybody that's a wrestling fan because I haven't done a video since WrestleMania for WWE. But this will be my predictions for SummerSlam this year that takes place on August 5th. And this will be going with the matches that we have so far. So let's start off with ones that are a little easier to predict. So let's go with Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. As we know, at the last pay-per-view, Shayna Baszler, if you watch WWE, I watch just enough of it to know what's going on, but I don't watch Raw every week or SmackDown or NXT, but Shayna Baszler turned on Ronda Rousey and turned babyface, which is, for some of you that don't know, that's a good guy. And it's pretty clear to predict that Shayna Baszler should win this to cement her babyface turn and get started off on the right track. Plus, it's been rumored that Ronda Rousey will be leaving soon, possibly going back to UFC. So I think she'll go out by putting her friend over. Next, we have Ricochet going against Logan Paul. I think this will be a match with what some people would call a lot of a spot fest match, a lot of high flying. And I will have to give credit where credit is due. Logan Paul has flourished in WWE and put on some really entertaining matches. So credit to you, Logan Paul, for that. And there's no doubt in my mind Logan Paul is winning this match. Next, we have Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. So far, it's just a singles match, but I expect it to be something like a bull rope match or some kind of like a hardcore stipulation type thing. And the winner should and will be Cody Rhodes. So he can hopefully go on to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship if Roman Reigns is champion or still champion by then. Now let's get into the matches that a few different things could happen. Let's go with the Intercontinental Champion Gunther defending the Intercontinental Championship against Drew McIntyre. There's a few ways I could see this going down. As I could see Gunther just straight up retaining one-on-one. -on -one. And I could see Drew McIntyre winning the title just straight up one-on-one. -on -one. But the most likely scenario that I feel is that Marcel Bar, well, whatever his name is, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci will try to interfere on behalf of Gunther. But then I think Riddle and then the returning Randy Orton will come out and even that out. And I think eventually Giovanni Vinci, with there being some cracks lately with the way that Raw ended with Kaiser and Gunther walking out and leaving him behind, I think he will accidentally cost Gunther the Intercontinental Championship and then he will be kicked out of Imperium. Next, let's go with the Triple Threat <coughs> WWE Women's Championship match between the champion Asuka, former champion Bianca Belair, and Charlotte Flair. <coughs> there are a few different ways I see this going. Either one, Charlotte Flair pins Asuka to win the title. Or Asuka makes Charlotte Flair submit to retain the title. Or the most likely scenario, I think Charlotte Flair beats, pins Asuka, or makes her tap out to win the Women's Championship only for Io Sky to cash in and become the new WWE Women's Champion on SmackDown. That's what I foresee happening. Then let's get into the World Heavyweight Championship match between Champion Seth freaking Rollins against Finn Balor. There are a few ways I could see this going down. One, I could see Rollins retain and Balor and the rest of Judgment Day beat him down and Damian Priest and Damian Priest cashing in to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Or, another scenario I could see is 
Finn Balor taking the title from Seth Rollins and Damian Priest turning on him by cashing in Money in the Bank and leaving the Judgment Day as just Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio. So either way, either Seth Rollins retains and just keeps the title or he retains and Priest cashes in or Finn Balor wins the title and then Damian Priest cashes in 100%. And now on to the main event. We have the match that I'm looking forward to the most. The Tribal Combat match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship between Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. Also with the title of the Tribal Chief on the line. And there are several ways I could see this going down. The most likely one is I think... Solo Sokoa interferes, allowing Roman Reigns to retain. That's what I most likely think is going to happen. Or, for some reason, Jimmy Uso turns on his brother and goes back to joining Roman Reigns to help Reigns retain. But then there are a few ways I could see Jey Uso winning this. Either Jimmy Uso returns and costs Roman Reigns the title the championship and the title of tribal chief by helping his brother Jey Uso win or Solo Sokoa turns on Roman Reigns allowing Jey Uso to capitalize and pin Roman Reigns again and become the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion and therefore completely crumbling Roman's Empire of the bloodline. I still think Roman Reigns is probably keeping that title until WrestleMania 40 where he loses it to Cody Rhodes. But they could throw a little swerve in there. And if Jey Uso does somehow win the title, I think he'll turn around and lose it right back to Roman Reigns at the next pay-per-view, which is payback less than a month away after SummerSlam. And then from there, he holds it until WrestleMania 40. Or Cody Rhodes wins. But either way, I don't see Jey Uso winning this title, even though I would love for him to. But I just don't think that was their plan all along. So that's what I think. Please leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you think. And I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.